So, suddenly, out of nowhere, Alma Water 2 came out. I do not have a series completing the game, but I've played a bunch of the original and the whole like one. The, the guys, how they call it again, the developers, they disappeared from the Twitch account, from things like, like they had freaking died. And then after several months, they started posting some spoilers and now out of nowhere, they just launched their game. And here it is. And now I'm going to, to test it out. I believe it's an open world, but you can just run and do quests and things, so it's quite different from the hoglike one. It should have the basic building mechanics of the hoglike. And it's open world. Different from those missions of the first one. It's a game that is really propitious to play with other people, but no, I do not have people to play with. It's opening, I suppose. I'm not sure. I see something. It's taking my screen, I cannot go over it. Does not allow me. Hano Nash is not responding. It seems you work on Windows 7. Shoot. It's not a piece of shit. Oh. Here it is. Now let's see if I can grab it at this, at this screen. Oh, we can. And it's in Shuo. So let us go with that. Cool. Now, this menu looks pretty fucking ugly. Like, there is this rule of three, where the menu is on a single corner and all of that, but... I did not like it at all. I have much better menus than the other ones. What the fuck is this menu? This looks so bad. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, Roland's Revenge. There is just one campaign. Oh, I can change this another here. There is one official campaign, just like the, the original game. It has one original campaign like that. And there are a bunch of workshop things on the other one. Not here yet, of course. It's kind of bad, this loading thing, but this is implemented on the game. Switches, mods. After slaying World Fire, the Red Dragon, the new king of Castle Hammerwatch, the heroes barely escape alive down through the Cumbrian Castle, where they can finally relax for a moment but only for a moment. King Roland's fights against his evil brother Lord Archibald, the power leak blight, the horrible continues in this directest sequel to Hammer Watch from 2013, where you get to explore and know the world outside the castle, meet exciting friends and dangerous foes, find written treasures and secrets, train Train and equip your hero to continue the fight against the Dark Forces. So this is the tale of the Ammo Watch original. You finish the dragon at the end, it's the fourth boss, and the castle starts to crumble down. If you had gotten all the planks, you can actually complete the bridge and leave, otherwise the ending is, is you're dying. <laughs> and this it is cool that it's mentioning the Black Leech here. 
there, is, uh, there are two modes on the original game. There is the campaign, and there is a... And there is a weird mode there, you fight the, the Lich. It's pretty freaking hard. I only won it once. <laughs> Normal, easy, hard, and serious. Serious or hard? I'm going with normal. I'm going with hard because I'm hard. Yeah. Enter a name called Dex because this is piracy. The game is too freaking expensive. <laughs> This menu looks so ugly, man. This loading shit looks so ugly. It's like some broken game. And the game actually crashed on me. There is a crazy sound. It's not picking up on the desktop, though. Something weird happened. What I'm seeing on my screen is not what is appearing there. Now it is. What the fuck? You asked that year 978, three huge dragons suddenly appeared out of nowhere and began to wreck havoc. On the back of the black dragon sat Blight, the horrible, that's the leak. Staring down at the terrified humans fleeing for their lives, the small Herian army did not stand a chance, it was discarded, and the king was forced to flee back to Castle Superbia. Oh shit. A vast army appeared in the south, coming from the Lockday Highlands. The king's brothers, Lord Archibald, seized the opportunity to attack his brother and steal the throne. This would later turn out to be a devious plan of an unholy alliance between humans and the undead. King Holland was eventually captured and lost the throne to his brother, the necromancer Blight, weak from being off course of the ground, took his place in the highest tower. There, he began to drain the life force. Weeks later, the dragon left to follow feuds and rested in strategic locations in the surrounding lands to ensure that no one from the outside disturbed the blight of regenerations. Lord Archibald, who may have become too comfortable in the royal seat, began to send parts of his army back to Lockdale. A few men seized the opportunity and silently fled the king. They all fled into the night and were taken in and hidden by monks under the church. It's not fitting, man. It's like the game is all broken. Five years passed, the resistance under the leadership of King Roland continued to stay vigilant against evil. Our information indicated that Blight's powers were almost restored, and before it was too late, he had to be eliminated. But first, Blight's Dragon's Guard needed to be taken out. In the year 983, three groups of well vested veterans were selected. Ace and his men were chosen to travel to Shafty Lock to slay Thunder Snow. Charlie Trivet, something, something. You travel by ship from Switch Tower to Harland, landing on Hama Island, where you group meet with a powerful loop who led you to a not so hidden entrance, where you sneak into cast Hammer Watch. These are the original characters, the rogue and the, the guys, they look so different. That's the new sprite. The icy mage, my mage was fire on the original. The knight looked nothing like that on the original, I cannot even see the thing. That's the original boss coming off the wall. Look at bigger though. After many hours the party reached the top of the castle and in face about the huge headed dragon finally succumbed to his injuries. With a roar the beast fell flat on the ground. The ceiling walls started to crumble and the entire castle began to fall apart. Luckily the party had found all the strange planks and successfully fled. See that the planks that I mentioned? With the castle come crowned behind them, the group just made it to the not so hidden door from which they entered. And here we are. Here begins Hammer Watch 2. The hog like never happened. You fight a dragon there, and I believe it's a snow dragon, I'm not sure, but I think it is. 
but oh well. Here it begins. This hidden door after the planks, which I did not get to see because I did not got other planks. My name is Codex Gaming. Okay then. Nothing moves man, the game is just broken, this menu looks so ugly, like it does not, does not think fit you right, look at this tabby coming out of this shit, this bugged shit, nothing moves, what the fuck? Abby does nothing. The keys do nothing. Well, that's weak. So they released the game out of nowhere, and the thing is bugged as fuck. Okay. Do not expect that at a professional company that has produced several games now at this point. And uh, they kept the style and many things of the, the originals. So I was not expecting it to be so bugged and, and look so ugly. But they, they did many heavy upgrades on the previous games like they changed it really heavily the main classes have been changing the, the mechanics of the game on the first one the greatest change was how you can use the mouse and have free range to shoot anywhere originally you could only use the, the keys the directional keys to do that so Try to fix this bug, let's... It looks so ugly, man. Let's take it out of full screen. Well, screen is not something cool. Tax to fuck game really bad. Not going to see the controls. I have no save it here, no. Game is so buggy, me. I don't know what is happening now. I have to make a new one again. It was a cloudy save, that's why it was bugged. Perhaps, who knows? You cannot control select it all. Let's see how it goes now. Which for some reason is not sending message. It is though.
does not fit on the, the freaking screen, dude. I can actually write now, good. Now, my original class on all games have been a, a ranger. Ranger is so good. But on a roguelike, like you have to play with all classes, basically. I'm the one you want. I'm your girl. I'm your girl. The righteous paladin. Pick me! I actually think I'm originally a rogue, but it was so awful the original one. It actually cost money to use my freaking special attack, so it was impossible to buy any upgrade and shit with this gun. So we quickly quit it, and also it's so, so very hard on the original one before the updates to fight with a melee class. So I went to, to the range it. But having played all class on the whole life game, I can do it. the Warlock is, is the boss there. It can life is still, it has an insane area damage and you can just walk around with a cloud following it and killing everyone. There is no information here about my spells, so that is that. Choose me! If you wanna ride high, ride with me! The mage man. The mage was originally using fire at some area attack on the original game. On the, on the roguelike one, there was also the ice mage, which was not bad. Elemental forces, it uses both here. There was also the gladiator and some other classes they put on the roguelike one. But well, I'm going with the range. I want to kite shit. And this can be hard here. I can do it. Ooh, pick me. If you wanna ride high, ride with me. If you wanna ride high, ride with me. I won't let you down. If you wanna ride high, ride with me. I'm the one you want. Oh, choose me. Choose me. I can do it. Pick me. I'm the one you want. I'm your girl. Pick me! I'm going to be a woman then and I'm going to be a mage. I do not like the male voices. I'm not going to be represented by, by them. My hair only changes under the freaking picture. This looks like me. This looks like me too. <laughs> Where is my bird man? I cannot change my bird. I cannot even see what is being changed in the exact it's too small. Oh the the bird is part of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I want it just on oh, here. Yes, this is the one. So uh, this is the skin color. I can see myself better now. I can change my nose. Hair. My hair is this color. My hat. And it should be golden since I'm a woman now. Hope. My hope is the same color. It's not this one, it's this. Should I get one single color or should I mix? That looks richer. The cape has to be a purple cape. What if my hope is black? There is no black man. On the... Oh. This looks kind of black. Blackish. This looks rich. 
the cake. I want some, some, like, a major purple bottle cake. Book. I have a book on my hand. Let's see what this mage can do. Prison. This is literally the first part of the original game. Cool oh, shit. There is an obstacle ahead. If you attack the planks, you can move through. You can also attack enemies. Jururu. Arcane bolt. I have an arcane bolt over here. This looks like the spell of the original mage, except it has a, a small range, like originally, but it's lacking in area. But I think I gained the area as I upgrade. Now I have my other spells already. I just do not know what the fuck this is. <laughs> Spacebar? Yes. I become a freaking shark. A gamey bugger. I believe that's what's happening. You might notice some strange shit. If you have epilepsy, look away now. <laughs> they released this game. Okay. That is very weird. They really like to patch it shit up as they go. The game does not respond to any of my comments. I can pick them close though. Nice, but the game does not respond. It went out of the game loop and does not respond. Oh shit. Well, I guess they are keeping the tradition and sending out a shitty ton of patchworks in a row. Oh man, I, I thought I was going to enjoy this thing, but... I'm just play test for them. <laughs> Damn, if I had bought this shit, I would be triggered now. Where is my fucking save, man? I have to save the game before the game crashes. I have to make it all again. I'm triggered now. I'm triggered now. Whatever the fuck comes. It takes too long to load. The game does not work. I guess this is it for my video. What's this shit? Has some months to actually work. I will play it. <laughs> the one you want hey choose me i won't let you down oh this guy looks cool
I use a fucking sword, man. I do not have auto shoot. I have to hold the shit and shoot. It's so freaking annoying, my god. And I have a movement skill too. This is the original game. You go here. They even put this part of the game, man. There is a map? There is no map. At least not on M. There's a left control shit. What the fuck? Excuse me. Entangle shot. So this slash. Dodge roll. So entangle is. It's like. One of the original skills in the game. Okay, the dragon scales me. Getting some free resources. Tango, it is different now. It would create around me this thing. The mana reloads by itself. It uses of regeneration, and my spells cost him mana. This costs mana, you can see. This costs time, and this also costs time. There's a cooldown. This has no freaking cooldown, but there is a use time still. I mean, it hits everything. On the original game, you could go around hitting the walls like this, and you would see when the walls were was fake and you could break it that look at weak there's a pull down the road that's how you play the original game there were so many secrets on that freaking game man. holy cow Brittle walls, new quest. But there is more. You can see your items is skewing much more on the player menu. Oh, that's cool. There are elements now. Intelligence, there are characteristics. It increases my velocity. It increases my mana. It increases my health. Where is my freaking damage increase? Off hand and main hand, I'm equipped with a freaking sword. I believe my spells will also change as I unlock more and I, how I, as I change my equips. If I take this out, I still have the freaking skill. I can still use my sword even though I have no sword equipped. Oh shit. Apprentice range that is still the, the rank as before. There are levels of the handy damage and main handy damage. This is my stats. to expand here I can upgrade my shit and once I become adept I either gain new spells or the game is bugged if you notice I hope I can still see my shit at least and as I gain new spells can I add new buttons and have a shit it on or do I have to substitute your attacks gain a chance to inflict it it's not a new spell it is Passive too. It's not fucking passive. It's passive. And I cannot change it anymore because, as you can see, the game bugged. 
and at each spell I can upgrade a bunch of shit. Interesting. But I cannot click on the game any fucking more because the thing is freaking bugged. Oh yeah, I watch mechanics. I can have up to four friends. On the whole life one you could edit the number and just have a shitty tone. I believe, I suppose. I think. Well, things cool. I do not like the Asha though. That holding of the shot is just ridiculous. It's like, it's a special on the other one. You have a super arrow. The, the special of the Asha was kind of shit. So they made a new special with the arrow. It's also kind of shit, so they buffed it. And now you hold the arrow and let out the super arrow. But that's a special. I do not want my main attack of arrows to be holdable and I have to click every time. I have to hold and have my bow. My bow machine gun. Shooting non-stop. Where is that power where I can just spin around, man? It's not here. Tornado. Icing lighting damage. Storms, that is interesting. It's like the entangle that stops them all, but they do damage. This also does damage now. Take physical damage. Oh, you would just stop them before, just pure utility. Rain of Arrows is interesting, but not as much as spinning around like a madman shooting arrows like a machine gun. Oh man, I wish I could test this game, but... It's broken. What, is that? what are those blue bars? This is my health and my mana. What about this side? There's a 20? Some shit. But it is bugged. In a few updates, uh, I, I test it. Actually, there's something else I, I can test. Like, here, there is an editor, and I saw them talking about that. My internet is shit right now, but yeah, I'm recording it anyway. There is this toolkit, and there is this editor. I have no idea what the fucking toolkit is. I do not suppose it's actually a tool to make more classes and spells and items of handed straight and we actually need that the modding community is, is stronger and is stronger on games the area has embraced the the T mod loader that's official now it just loads every server every mod the steam workshop has been there for over a decade but making a mod is still so hard you have to write the code by hand and put the sprites there in some shit they do not usually provide the actual tools they have tools that they use to make the game but that's not provided usually this is a fucking tool to make the game I wonder what this shit are. There is no instruction on using the tool. That is, there's a tutorial in the game, but not how to use the tool. But it's so much more complicated. Okay. 
Ô oh, mãe, aquele batata que eu comprei tem que botar naquele forninho com um pedacinho de queijo por cima que eu não botei, não, porque ele tava sem energia. Recording the screaming. I changed it uh, to the actor mode, but there is no actor, of course. I have a view. And this is a tool to make shit, but there's no way to have an idea how to use it. And the editor should be more intuitive. Unless it's a editor for files are set and everything. And not just a map enter. But well, the freaking game itself is not working. And I do not expect these side things. It should be quite ready. This thing is crashing by itself. There are some music on the game too. The music is quite akin to the old one. It's quite good. I want to open this game again and try again, but I know it's not going to work. <laughs> it crashes after a little bit. Ah oh, no, nah, she's not responding. Also known as it has crashed. The warlock of the Oh, it's open. It's an editor of everything. Like there is a boss brother unit here. I can see the boss forever playing the game. Then they go to a black body spawner. Archibald. This is the Archibald guy. It's a carpet parts. There swear is tears. There's every unit, every sprite. There's an old lady over there, did you see? It's a puzzle piece. There's a throne room piece. Where's the fucking boss? It was open, I think. I don't know if it's crashed, if it's just slow. Looks like not load. So the warlock, as I was saying, on the on the hog like one. It's completely different and it's so powerful and so nice. It has the same lighting though, it has some alike spells, but so mother freaking powerful, it's broken. It like it starts kind of bad with his little wendy or sword thing. 
but it gets so extension and start to become basically a ranged unit with area attack on his melee attack and a bunch of other shit that just extend his reach more and more and he walks around in a cloud and shooting balls of lightning it's too powerful and like easy to play with choose me What is this? Mechanics? Tutorial? This is the map. I want to see the powers. I have the barrier. I do not like barriers, it's kind of silly. It can, can be usual. Cast the spell from your equipped grime. What? Whatever that is. I have one. It's a cunning blast. Off the handy damage, 35, it's much stronger than my actual main hand, once again. And I have an Arcani Bolt, but it's much weaker than because of that. Phase is shift. Slow on all enemies I pass through. Then I have some Lightning, that's not on the Warlock. Increase my stats. Bunch of passive shit. Walls of Flame. Meteor. These are classical spells. But I mix up with time now and shit. Frosty Nova. That's the, the ice thing that's very cool. So I have some ice and fire effects, but not much. That's about it. I stopped to walk a little bit as I attack. Oh, that's a good spell. I can't do that yet. Oh, there are some enemies. Hey, they are strong. They hit me. I'm breaking the wall, that's classical. Elsewhere, won't punch. There's several things to interact with. There's so many hidden things on the other one. You just hit the thing straight. That area attack can be so good to find hidden things, probably, I suppose. Hiding boots, I can equip it. Haha, <laughs> well, I was actually just going to leave, but when I had the roar from the dying dragon, I decided to see if it would show up. That the guy who brought me here, details. I can see the entire dialogue if I want. I actually completed the stage. Surprising, I was not expecting that. New quest to return to the dock. I suppose I have to return to the dock.
Not that dog. I have not saved yet. I have to like save me. Working to save her. Oh, I can break this shit. I did not take my dragon scales me because I was distracted trying to not bug the game. I suppose we can walk back there. Got a back in my life. The potions. There's a quest over there. I just want you to save me. They get up here? No, a little bit different from the, the town. How do I save my gods? Won't you crash and won't you quit? There's a question, I want you to read it, but I'm too preoccupied with saving. If I can save, then I can be sure the game will not bug it. And just throw me back to the initial screen. Completed the quests. Oh, I can save anywhere. Cool. Let's see if the game crashes. I'm going to leave for a while.
Well, that doesn't look right, does it? I cannot walk, I cannot do any shit. It's trash. Now, I have some suppositions. The bug is clearly graphical. Oh, when someone gets near me, it triggers a sound like the dialogue, yeah. So the bug is clearly graphical. And what I think was happening on the, the castle was that when I was stopped, the character would start to do an animation on its own. And has it triggered that graphical change? The graphic is bugged, and so the game crashed. And now, either that happened, I was not here to see, or the rain is started to fall, and that triggered a shit ton of graphics, which all bugged, as you can see, and, and that is it. And that is it for my playtest. I cannot... Oh, it's moving. What the fuck is happening? Someone fucking walked and shoved me. It was one of the kids. I can move my character, man. I can look to the side, but I cannot freaking walk. Like, what the fuck? Oh. This was it. Looks to be very interesting. It's... Uh, I can't say it's polished, like, in, in the graphical... When it's not bugged. There's a bunch of dialogue and investment on it. But it's literally unplayable, as you can see. Oh, 26%, that's probably my experience over there. But that's 60, now I do not know what it is. My stamina, something like that. And this was it. I will test it again, like, when I feel like again. To see if they release a walking version. 